Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel once again. Welcome to the delayed flight. Uh, today, I will answer some questions of yours, and uh, if I can be helpful to something, please let me know about, uh, of course, uh, the things that you see in the clips here. Don't ask me about quantum mechanics. Don't ask me why your boyfriend or your girlfriend left you. Don't ask me where to invest uh, your money, for instance, in the stock market. In general, ask me about the things that you see in the clip. And from time to time, okay, I will try to answer your questions. Can we have something to drink or a coffee? Triple seven three hundred, brand new livery of Air France. We showed it already in the previous clip, I think, isn't it? So, uh, in the clip, drone camera in lock mode and plane spotting, MSFS 2020, Rahim KM uh, asks which weather settings you. And I suppose the meaning is which are your weather settings, something like this. Now, uh, the answer to that, uh, I suppose I'm using this weather. Now, which is this weather, of course, you will ask. Okay, so if we go to weather settings here, it seems that this weather is from a mode called DNBOF, atmospheric. Exactly as you see it here, there are three modes installed and uh, it seems it is this one or maybe it is slightly changed, maybe I changed it a little bit, which means that if you want to have a closer look, it looks something like this here, have a look here, this is Overall, the cloud seems, here are the settings, and as I said, maybe slightly I changed this one. So, of course, the next question would be, and how did you found this uh, nice add-on, and how did you install it? So, here it goes. So, that means that we go to Flight SimTO, here is the address, we type weather we said dnbof so it must be this one all those uh, scenarios are preset they are prefixed and so that means that you go afterwards somewhere here and download start downloading it will not take much time, show in folder, drag it all, take it from here and add it on your desktop, extract, okay, it is extracted here, and then you go to your community folder, I suppose you know where your community folder is. I'll follow the steps here. And you just put the extracted mode inside, okay? I will not do this because it is already somewhere here. Here it is. So there are, an, uh, there are also two other um, Weather, weather scenarios, actually a collection of weather scenarios, isn't it? And the one is Floyd's Epic Clouds, which means that you type here Floyd's, Floyd's Epic Clouds. And you do exactly the same thing, 
isn't it? You go to download. I will not do the same procedure again. You go to download, you press download, and then you drag the file on your desktop and put it inside your community folder. And also I think there is a third one that I would strongly suggest you. And the third one is which one? And let us see this one, WMRW. Where by the where by the way there are also very nice cloud scenarios. For instance, this one here. And actually, I show this one because uh, maybe it was uh, this one uh, in the clip you mentioned. It can be as well. Yes, I think I found it. So. Uh, WMRWP, I suppose it is Windows Media Realistic Weather Presets. This is the third one here, okay? You see also some wonderful pictures. And the same way you download it, you go here, you press download and so on. I showed you already. And it makes uh, totally sense because this is Windows Media Realistic Weather Windows Media Realistic Weather Preset. So uh, definitely that was the third one. All these, okay, all these three packs of weather scenarios, they are here together with the default ones, isn't it? Here they are. And if you want, you can also customize your own. So let us have a quick look at all these weather presets. It will take some time, but I think it is worthy. Let us see Floyd's scenarios, for instance. Uh, this is a must, okay? I mean, uh, you don't have to lose your time. And you don't have actually to depend on live weather, because this I do also quite often. I, I mean, mostly always. Make your life a little bit easier. And you don't have to search and to make all the configurations. Okay, this is not the best, maybe. Fluffy clusters. But this is really nice, isn't it? It could be as well this one here in the clip that uh, Karim... How was his name? I forgot. And maybe I would like to go to continue my coffee. Somewhere here I was standing. To continue drinking my coffee. So we can have a look from here as well, isn't it? And in general it goes like this. Let us not... Uh, let's say if you are interested, I show you how to download all these uh, weather presets which will be put automatically in your weather folder exactly as you see them here so by random choice
there are a lot. Yeah, this is also very nice, of course. Now these are the weather media. Uh, how was it? Weather media presets something. Anyhow, I forgot. Weather media, real weather presets. I remembered. I remembered. And uh, the third one was the NBOF, isn't it? The NBOF. I suppose this is uh, the wonderful weather scenario that uh, was shown in the tutorial about the drone camera. And also here I wanted to show you something else. If, for instance, you want to change this, okay, so you just go here. Okay, and you play a little bit with all this for lightning. You can add some lightning. Or coverage. You can change the coverage. Isn't it? Or you can change the, des the density. You can make combinations. You can change the altitude. Top and bottom. And then, whatever you like, you go here isn't it and you just save the file you can save it okay cancel so i hope that i answered the question and i would strongly suggest you those three modes windows media real weather presets and the nbof real weather presets and also the third one Floyd's epic clouds indeed the clouds of Floyd are epic it is a must-have and following this procedure you can install them easily in your weather folder which is isn't it somewhere here this one so I think that was the answer and now we will continue with another question. So in this clip uh, MSFS 2020 community folder how to find easily your community folder alternative way which is the second clip about the community folder Natters 456 complains or wonders why he cannot find the community folder when I click virtual file system nothing happens okay so let us see what is going on here with our friend Natters who seems it convinced that the community folder is really in front of his nose <laughs> okay so once again, general options. Uh, first of all, Natters, uh, check if uh, this was on or off here. Developer mode must be on. And that means that you see this bar now that appeared here. So far so good, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure that so far you managed this things to do tools we said Vir virtual file system so somewhere here you were lost isn't it slow motion general options developers on tools virtual file system virtual file system 
package folders, open community folder. Here it is, isn't it? So I don't know what went wrong once again. Developers, I think something here you did the wrong. Developer mode is on, tools, virtual file system, open your community folder here, this one. And anyhow, about the community folder, uh, another solution, if everything fails, don't take the hammer, please, but uh, make a snapshot of, have a, a snapshot, a snapshot, have a snapshot of this one. I magnified it a little bit. Either you purchased MSFS 2020 through Xbox, or it can be from Steam, or you have the CDs. So these are the four ways here. Have a close look, have a closer look here. I will magnify it a little bit more, something like this. Okay, I think it is quite visible. Have a look and I hope this is helpful also. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I think this is all for now. Uh, from time to time, uh, some questions can be gathered and I can give you the answers, of course, about the things that we are talking about here in the channel. And uh, support the channel, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you for watching this clip. I hope it was useful to both of my friends, Natters and uh, Rahim, I think was his name. Thank you for watching this clip and hope to see you soon to the next one. You take care. Bye for now.